Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking peptides. Peptides are very quickly becoming the hottest ingredient in skincare, with every brand in the skincare field throwing them into each and every one of their serums, cleansers, and moisturizers. A lot of people are spending an awful lot of their hard-earned coin reaching for peptides in their skincare routine, but there's a couple of things you need to know before you do so. In this video, I'm going to break peptides apart. We're going to talk about what they are, the benefits of using them in their skincare routine, some drawbacks and limitations, the different types of peptides that exist, and of course, some of my favorite peptide serums. So, sit back, relax, let's talk peptides explained. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know your own experience with peptides. So start off in the comments section below. Let me know like your peptide before and after stories. And of course, any peptide recommendations that you want to share with the channel. Your recommendations really do shape the products I try and review in the future. And I'm always so grateful for them. Whatever your thoughts on peptides, if you love me, you love the channel, and you love to hear all things skincare, reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. It's a great way of getting this message out there because the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube distributes on its platform. So I know you guys know the drill by now but I'm so so grateful to each and every one of you that takes the time out of your day to like the content here on Mad About Skin. But I've got a lot to say so let's cut that waffle, delve in and start with what are peptides? Well they're long chain amino acids. They're actually the building blocks of the proteins which form such a core component of our overall body and our skin health. So these proteins, things such as keratin which is found in the hair and nails, collagen in the skin, elastin which helps to keep our skin firm and taut, all of these are like glue together bits of these peptides which form a bigger chain protein. Unfortunately as we age the quantity and quality of these proteins does diminish so by using a topically applied peptide it can be a great way of kind of giving the skin what it needs to keep producing these proteins and keep them in the highest quantity and quality possible. There are four different types of peptides which I'm going to come on to and explain in more detail later on in the video but firstly let's talk about the benefits for our skin. Well peptides if you use the right ones can actually boost the levels of collagen in our skin. Over time our body's ability to produce collagen dips like that. Well, some peptides actually trick the body into producing more collagen, which is going to be great because it's the building blocks of our skin, which will minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, but also help to retain moisture in the skin. So as we age, our skin can appear a little bit more dehydrated, a little more lackluster, and more prone to fine lines and wrinkles. By boosting the collagen levels in the skin, you can kind of target all of these in one go. It also helps boost the amount of elastin in the skin. Elastin is great. It's what gives our skin that firmness and elasticity. As we age, we feel that our skin sags just a little bit. So by boosting the amount of elastin in the skin, it'll just keep everything firm and taut for as long as possible. Peptides are also great for boosting the barrier health of the skin. Our skin has a natural protective barrier and it's kind of made of a matrix of lots of interlocking proteins, including collagen. By using a peptide, you can increase the amount of collagen in the skin, which will overall have a positive impact on the barrier health of our skin, keeping us protected all day long. With all these benefits, there are some drawbacks that I want to call out. First and foremost, peptides won't be for everyone. Sometimes they can trigger an inflammatory response in the skin. So if you're reaching for a peptide that everyone's fangirling about, but you find it's actually quite irritating, it induces redness in the skin, maybe peptides just aren't for you. And there's lots of other alternatives. Also, a lot of the studies in peptides are in their infancy, so we don't really know the right concentration to get maximum results. So a lot of this is a little bit anecdotal and trial and error. But I can speak from my own experience with peptides to say they have some wonderful benefits to the skin and I've definitely noticed an increase in hydration and a reduction in the fine lines and wrinkles since using um, peptides consistently within my own skincare routine. If you want to know a little bit more about how to use peptides for maximum benefit in your own skincare routine, I covered that in a recent video which I'm going to leave a link to up there because now I want to break apart the four different types of peptides and how they impact the skin. Let's first talk about carrier peptides. So these are the peptides that actually help carry, it's kind of in the name, carry trace elements around the the skin to where they're needed for maximum benefit. These trace elements such as things as copper and magnesium can have really great benefits for our skin. They'll help boost collagen production and they can also at the margins even out our complexion. Carrier peptides are really really important because there's no point using these ingredients in our skincare routine if they're not getting to where they need to be to have maximum benefit. So this is really one of the ones that I think needs a little bit more study and research done into it but it's definitely going to be a wonderful addition to an anti-aging routine. The next type of peptide I want to talk about are signal peptides. These are the ones that trick the body into thinking something has happened and to producing more collagen and elastin. When you apply them to the skin, the skin kind of feels like it's suffered a trauma or a wound and its natural defense mechanism against that is to increase the amount of collagen. By using these signal peptides on a consistent basis, it'll just keep that collagen production going with the body responding to it and being tricked almost into producing more of these collagen and elastin, which is going to have wonderful anti-aging benefits, but also some benefits for the hydration 
activation levels in the skin. The next style of peptides is my personal favourite, that's neurotransmitter peptides. I'm talking primarily about Azuraline, which is one of my favourite anti-aging serums. You guys know I love the Ordinary Azuraline solution, and I captured all the reasons why in a recent video that I'm going to leave a link to up there. A lot of people say that these are like Botox in a bottle, which, whilst the outcomes can be similar to Botox, it's not the same. You don't get the longevity of results, and you don't get the intensity of results either, but they kind of disrupt the neurotransmissions that go between the muscle synapse, which mean that you have less contractions in the skin. So those dynamic fine lines and wrinkles, ones caused by movement, will be lessened by the application of a neurotransmitter peptide such as Azuraline, which in the long term will have some wonderful anti-aging benefits. There needs to be a lot more studies done into this style of peptide, but I'm here to tell you, just from personal experience, I got some game-changing results from the Ordinary Azuraline, and if you don't believe me, check out that video I've just linked where I do my before and afters and talk about the benefits themselves. Finally, let's talk about enzyme-inhibiting peptides. These are the ones that prevent the function of certain enzymes which break apart proteins in the skin. You want to be building up the amount of collagen and elastin in the skin. You don't want enzymes to be breaking these apart before they've really done all the work that they need to do. By using an enzyme inhibitive peptide, this can reduce the amount of collagen and elastin that's broken down in the skin, meaning over time you'll see the increase in the amount in present in the skin and some great anti-aging benefits. This is a style of peptide that I personally have the least experience with, but you know, I have got some recommendations that I'm going to come on to in this section of the video. Let's talk now about my favourite peptide containing products. Of course, I want to fangirl first off about this. This is the Hylamide Sub-Q Skin. I think Desium have cornered the market with peptides. They've got a great range at really affordable prices, sitting beneath their Hylamide, Ordinary and Neod brands. However, if you read any of the chatter from the bigwigs at Desium, they say that their favourite of all the peptides is the Hylamide Sub-Q Skin. And I think this, honestly, the formulation is perfection. If you want to take the mystery out of which style of peptide to use in your skincare routine, get one that kind of combines them all. This has so many different peptides with different functions. You've got ones that are going to be like signal peptides, you've got the neurotransmitter peptides, and you've got the carrier peptides. They're just going to give your skin everything it needs for that powerful anti-aging boost. If you want to take it to like a next level beyond just that, but keeping with the Desium family, you can of course reach for the Neod Copper Amino Isolate Serum. This has so many different carrier peptides within it. It kind of means that the maximum amount of peptides are going to get to where they need to be in the skin to give you those maximum anti-aging benefits. A lot of the peptides that we apply topically just don't really do anything because they kind of get lost in the skin. They don't get to where they need to be. The amount of carrier peptides in this particular product means that's not really an issue and you're going to get maximum benefits from the peptides that you're putting on your skin. You can of course use this alongside some other peptide products but I feel this is just an all-in-one. If you don't mind paying a slightly higher price point, I think this is worth it for what the Neod want to charge. I mentioned it earlier, I'm going to briefly touch on it again, but one of my favourite, favourite peptides is the Azure Align Solution by The Ordinary. Game changing if you're looking for a neurotransmitter peptide that's going to have some instant anti-aging benefit. This smooths everything out, minimises the appearance of those dynamic fine lines and wrinkles, and costs like £6. Doesn't get better than this, and this is where I'd say everyone should start if you're looking for a good anti-aging peptide. There's only one peptide in here, so if you want to kind of double down on the benefits, mix this alongside The Ordinary Matrixel, which has two other different styles of peptide in there, for a much more comprehensive range of peptides in your skincare routine. When I came to creating my own serum, which is this, the Mad About Skin Got You Covered Super Serum, of course I wanted to incorporate multiple different peptides in here. Not only have you got like vitamin C in here, you've got some great antioxidants, you've got some calming and soothing botanicals, you've also got three different peptides that are going to have different functions. You've got the neurotransmitter ones for that instant anti-aging benefit, you've got some carrier peptides, and also some hydrating peptides that are going to boost the levels of collagen in the skin. Kind of like a one-stop shop if you don't want to mix the Ordinary Azure Line and the Ordinary Matrixel together, you think it's too much of a faff, you can buy this serum and you've kind of got it all in one. Finally, when we talk about enzyme inhibiting peptides, these can be the ones that are a little bit difficult to identify and find. One of my favourite products is actually a cleanser. This is the Derma E Advanced Peptides and Flora Collagen Jelly Cleanser. Ridiculously long name, but this actually contains various rice components that will act as peptides to minimise the amount of enzyme degradation of collagen and elastin. You're not going to get game changing results straight out of the bat because this is a wash off treatment rather than a leave on serum. But if you use this consistently in a skincare routine, it will definitely pay dividends in the long term term and you get some really nice anti-aging benefits. So there you have it guys, a rundown of peptides with the different types that are available, the benefits, the pros, the cons and of course my favourite peptide containing products. There are so many different ones on the market, sound off and let me know your personal recommendations and favourites. Wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well and love your skin. Take care, bye!